other important sewer related projects on the way during this time frame include the expansion and rehabilitation of Lake Creek Wastewater Treatment Plant and significant recovery aspects at the Lake Creek Plant following this one. All this presentation addresses efforts pertaining to the city's wastewater plants and sewer system. However, it should be noted that during this time, expansion funds have also been made, improving water quality through wealth development, through the development of new wells, redevelopment of existing wells, construction of a new 30 inch transmission main, construction of a new 2 million gallon elevated storage tank, as well as numerous other projects listed in the CIP for the water system. I'd like to go over a little bit of, of uh, the events leading up to this flood of this year. National Weather Service advisories to the Lowndes County EMA. As you can see on February 21st at 9.30 a.m., rain impact <laughs> about three inches, only minor flooding potential from the Wilfucci River, no significant action necessary. And again, the next day at 11.30 a.m., conditions are set enough to be favorable for some flooding impacts along the rivers by the middle of the next week. Two, day, well, two days later, on February 24th, we can show four to six inches of rain over the next 36 to 48 hours. Latest river forecast that Skipper Bridge Road over the Little Fukushima Cross River Crest just over 15 feet. <coughs> February 25th, National Weather Service issued a flood warning for Little Fukushima at Skipper Bridge to the expected crest now over 16 feet. Tuesday evening. February 25th, total rainfall calculated up to 10 inches. Updated predictions increased forecast, forecast to crest over 2 feet for public fire. On the 26th, based on the National Weather Service forecast, we should crest no part of the county later tonight. If that all forecast holds true, we should not experience any major issues. But past this, we have shown that these forecasts will not always be 100% correct. And on the 27th, levels of several feet below when, again, on the National Weather Service forecast, levels of several feet below what they were in 2009, and some of the factors that influenced the severe flooding on them are not present at this event. Not, not probably a little bit later, about an hour later, Kipper Road closed from Mercury Drive to Culpeg Road to the floodwaters of it. Then later on the 27th in the afternoon, the Morgan Road closure at the bridge over the Little River. Later, an hour later on the 27th, National Weather Service advised water levels and we continue to rise throughout the day. With Coochie River has exceeded forecast and continues to rise slowly despite a reported request pressed earlier. The with Coochie River is currently expected to crest on Friday on Highway 84 at an elevation of 30 feet. This would have impact on the Coochie Treatment Plant, which is currently has water infringing on its property. Then on the 28th, the city issued a press release stating that the Withcoochee plant was taken offline as the river continues to rise and began flooding critical buildings and structures at the facility. On March 3rd, we issued a press release stating that the Withcoochee was brought back online and returned to normal operations at 1.30 that day. This is a, a sampling of the current of the Withacoochee past seven days. We have another hand. 